Welcome to another exciting episode of Film Reels. We're going to be interviewing local filmmaker and actor Brian Royston of Living Storm Productions. So put on your mascara and your lipstick and maybe a little eyeliner because you want to look your best for this week's episode. You know what? I just had a great idea. Why don't I turn around, drop you off at Arthur's house, and go to the party by myself? If that's what you want. What about Arthur's poker buddies, too? They could have a go at you when he's finished. Would you like that? Pass you around like a plate of mini crab cakes? If that's what it takes for me to feel like a woman again? Get out. What? You heard me. Get out. You're being ridiculous. Out. I said get out. You want me to drag you from this car? I will. Fine, but don't come back to me begging. I won't. I'm better off without you! So that was a clip from Red Light, which is one of the short films by Living Storm Productions. And we have in the studio here with us, Brian Royson! <laughs> so how are you doing today? Good, really good. good. Awesome. <laughs> how about you? I'm hanging in there. I'm kicking it. <laughs> um, so anyways, uh, let's get to know Brian Royston today. Hey, Brian, where were you born? I was born in a, a small town called Madison, Wisconsin. Oh, I heard this, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know if you know years ago. <laughs> Nicely done. Yeah, uh, thanks. And uh, um, what was life like growing up? Um, you know, it, it, I, I had a good time. I, I had some friends, you know, uh, um, but I also had me time, uh -huh. um, latchkey kid. You know, getting home from school, making myself a, a bowl of cereal, and sit down in front of the TV. I mean, doing homework, my yeah, dad. Of course. Of course. Mm, yeah. And um, <laughs> watching watching whatever shows, cartoons were on. Um, yeah, and then I, I, you know, doing sleepovers with friends, uh, uh, playing hide and seek, and all the kinds basics. of good fun stuff. Yeah. And you guys used to make, uh, what, at what point did you guys make some videos? Like, didn't you have a, a secret agent show? Yeah, a buddy of mine and I, um, uh, we had visions of making this a bigger production than it actually <laughs> turned out to be. But I think we did like one, one movie, one film, uh, Game Green. Mm -hmm. He was a secret agent, uh, you know, espionage. It was, it, it was really cool in our heads. Um, we, we recorded ourselves running around his his neighborhood and you know getting into fights and stuff with squirt guns or something i can't remember what um you know, there's still time to, to finish that if you want yeah 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 no continuity errors no 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 at all. <laughs> we're old men yeah walkers yeah walkers <laughs> you know really losing our legs to gangrene yeah. Yeah, I think it's a great idea. I think um, so, so uh, where'd you go to high school? Went to high school at, at East. East? East Said. East Said. Oh. Um, <laughs> right here, right here. Uh, yeah, I went to Marquette Elementary and Middle, East High. Um, uh, after high school, took mm -hmm. some time off before going to college. Yeah. But. And you played guitar, you said, during uh, high yep. school? And yep. Um, actually, the the same um, buddy that we filmed Game Green. I mean, we uh, we were planning on um, starting a band together. Uh, I was in well, we were both in band at, in school. He played drums. Okay. Uh, I played saxophone. So nice. we thought you know we'd have a band where I played some. I'd learn to play guitar, play some guitar and some saxophone, which wound up never. <laughs> becoming a reality but the, the, the guitar did yeah yeah so we we uh hooked up with uh, another couple friends and several different flavors of of the band we had a you know the band name there was the jammables which we were going to have a big strawberry on the bass drum <laughs> um, black knight with a k was oh, a band name uh, uh Cruel klaxon, which a klaxon is, you know, like the the video. loudspeaker thing. Oh, okay. So, I was thinking of video game, but that's Zaxxon. Anyway, yeah. going. <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, we were always playing like hard rock, heavy metal. Um, oh, I did play a kind of a, a cover band, more more easy, not easy listening, but mainstream music with another couple guys called Short Notice. 
Um, we had a we had a, a couple gigs, but <laughs> um, so that's where I started. That's where you started. Yeah. Okay, so you took a break from uh, right out of school. You took a, a couple years off, and then you went to UW Madison. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, we had uh, prior to coming back to school, uh, uh, I went out to LA. Okay. Okay. For a year with another band uh, at the time. And you, you got that through the company that you were working for, which was uh, Capital City Distribution? Yep. Okay. Comic Book Warehouse distributed all the, you know, all the uh, comics in, I mean, around the, around the country. Okay. And there were some competitors, but we were, we were the best. You're the best out yeah. there. <laughs> so they so good they were able to send you off to L.A. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> they said, uh, you know, where do you want to go and name it? And I said, yeah, L.A. sounds good. Uh, no, it wasn't that nice. <laughs> so, okay, so you, you got to go from Madison, Wisconsin, out to L.A. to their capital city distribution. And uh, what, did the, what did your other bandmates do? Uh, they came with me. We were, I mean, we were a cover band in, in the Midwest, uh, or not even the Midwest, southern Wisconsin yeah, yeah, area. Yeah. Um, but they came with, we, we packed up all our stuff into a U-Haul and... Um, uh, uh, drove uh, the the drummer's car cross country um, through the mountains. It was fun because his uh, his vehicle was overheating, so we had to have. And this is like you know May time frame, I think, and uh, we had to have the the heater on full blast uh, so the car would not die. So we were baking inside the car, <laughs> but they all came out uh, with me and. Um, uh, settle, settled down out there for, for a year. Uh -huh. uh, I was working at the comic book warehouse. They got jobs and tried to make it. And now you said that while you're out there, the cover band thing wasn't this, wasn't their thing out there. Yeah, they that side, you know, the, the coast there. They want cover music. I mean, they can turn on the radio. So they <laughs> wanted they wanted originals, which was something that we hadn't uh, needed to do back here, just because you know. Cover cover music worked, mm -hmm. so we uh, we were uh, uh, we came up with about a dozen or so original songs on on our own when we were when we were out there. Nice, yeah. Um, China, so China, China, was China. The band. Yeah, with a China. Y, with a Y. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you came, then eventually you had to come back. Yep, yep. Came back after a year, um, you know, towing all my debt behind me. Um, and then went back to uh, back to school at, at UW. Figured it was time to try and be responsible. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I'm still trying. Yeah, yeah. Um, we never really get there, do we? No. <laughs> Some of us don't. So, uh, so went to school um, to be a uh, high school math teacher. Mm -hmm. And while while doing that, I uh, uh, got interested in in computer science. Um, and then that wound up becoming my major. Um, and while I was taking taking classes there, fulfilling some requirements, I took a couple uh, intro acting classes, which was pretty cool for me at the time. Mm -hmm. But um, um, when I needed to audition for a follow up class, uh, I did not get in, and I decided that was that was good enough. I had my comp sci degree. Mm -hmm. You know, I was going to be graduating soon, so. Um, you know, I thought that was, that's what I'll do. I, I tried and, you know, yeah. had a good time, but, so. So how, how long after that, uh, do you discover the auditions for Sentinel's Flight? Well, years. Years later. Years later. So what did you do in that interim then, in between those two? Just... Uh, I did my, I, you know, I did computer support okay. work in, uh, in the, in the computer, computer field, um, which, you know, was a passion at yeah. a time, yeah. uh, for a time. Um, uh, you know, and now it's kind of just putting food on the table, roof over the head, uh, over my head, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, through the magic of Facebook, uh, there is I, magic there. I do know that. Yeah, there's magic. <laughs> Black box where everything happens right? and nobody knows. <laughs> Screaming uh, into the darkness, seeing who answers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I, I friended a, a guy that I worked at the comic book warehouse okay. with, and he um, was working on a film called Sentinel's Flight. He was he, he was one of the 
one of the main actors, um, and was posting that they needed needed extras. Uh, a, a few times he posted, and like I think maybe the third time took, and I was able to help out, um, and uh, worked. Uh, showed up on set for a scene where we were supposed to be homeless and um, and just you know was in love with it again you know with the with the idea of acting yeah um, which motivated me to uh, to go back to school I took retook the two cla intro classes that I'd taken years before mm -hmm. again uh, you know, for no credit, but just because it had been some time, and yeah. I figured I needed the refresher. Why not? And then continued to take uh, take more classes there. At the and what were those classes? That um, they were like fundamentals of acting, uh, acting realism. Some, you know, here's here's how you can act, and and, and what you're what you're thinking. Um, some things about how to audition. Um, took some voice training classes there. Um, took uh, a Shakespeare a acting Shakespeare class mm -hmm. and uh, and then some you know breadth requirement type stuff that uh, um, is required for the major yeah even though technically I can't get a, a comp sci major because my I'm sorry I can't get a theater major in letters and science because my comp sci major is in LNS and okay. It's, it's a whole it's a complicated up thing. mess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> College. <laughs> but this advisor told me if I met all the requirements, he'd give me a piece of paper, stationary, <laughs> UW stationary, that said <laughs> Brian has met all the requirements, so I can show people that you're so that almost you, as good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Suitable for framing. As long as it has that letterhead, it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, so you, okay, so you did the the Sentinels flight stuff, and then you went back to school. But what happened? Uh, what got you involved with what was then Sentinels Productions? Sentinel Productions. Yeah. Um, you know, I I was I was enjoying it, I, I, having a good time. I liked the people that that I was working with there, and um, you know, was willing to help out mm -hmm. in whatever way I could. Um, and I think Alex uh, Contreras, um, who's the you know the, the the producer there, the the founding member of the of the company, um, you know he saw he he liked to see people that were motivated. I mean, the Sentinel's flight was kind of a an experiment to see um, how motivated people were, uh, uh, how well they worked together and such. So I think out of uh, the ashes of the Sentinel's flight. <laughs> he found a, a group of people that uh, that worked well together, um, you know, including myself and uh, and David Warner. And um, we were there. We were helping out when we needed to drive to Milwaukee to interview uh, uh, possible crew members. You know, we were willing to go along and, and make the drive. And um, so when he had a couple board members that were on their way out, um, had vacancies. David and I stepped in. Nice. And then we we renamed the company uh, Living Storm Productions, and nice. the rest is history. history. <laughs> so yeah, that, um, so that was around the time that I, I think I kind of I became aware of uh, uh, Living Storm Productions, um, and I briefly met you during that time. Um, during a, a production of uh, Transhuman? Transhuman, yep, yep. Transhuman was uh, the intended follow-up, well, not follow-up, but uh, the feature that followed uh, the Sentinel's flight, yeah. um, which was a, a, a very, you know, sophisticated, but hopefully low-budget um, feature, uh, originally written by Cyrus Anderson, who was with the company at the time, and um, you know, and then David and Cyrus continued to work on that together. Yeah. Um, and right now, that is uh, that's on the kind of on the back burner while we were trying to trying to find some other projects to yeah. do to raise money. And um, David is continuing uh, development on that. Um, but yeah, we we met we met a lot of people early on in in the planning phase for that film um, that uh, you know some some 
we're still in contact with and some have moved on or, or you know even moved out of the city or state and you know that was that was a while ago yeah uh, sentinel's flight was like 2009 2010 yeah um so transhuman was i think we started talking about that 2010 yeah Is that so around? i want to say i i think i became aware and involved with it around like 2011 and so that kind of seems about right yeah um so since you said Transhumans on the back burner now, you guys went ahead and did a series of short films. Yep. Yeah. We uh, over the last couple of years, we uh, we've done six shorts. It was uh, the plan was to um, to put all these shorts to do like I think it, originally we were talking about four shorts and maybe then it was maybe going to be four shorts and a music video. Somehow it became six shorts. The plan was to um, make them all and then premiere them together. And um, again, trying to trying to raise money for uh, a feature, which we finally we, we finished those all up and premiered them in February yeah. of this year um, at uh, Sun Prairie Performing Arts Center, which was a, a great venue for it. It was. I remember going to that event. It was very very. It was very nice because you guys introduced each one of them with, the, with everyone who's kind of involved with Living Storm Productions. And it was a nice kind of way to like get to know who, yeah. all, who is who in that thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it, it, it was a fantastic night. It, it really made me proud to see um, our finished work on a, on a big screen, you know, and see the, you know, a, a good turnout in the audience there. Um, you know, so uh, yeah, and we also have, I don't know, can I show this? Yeah, yeah, totally. We have Go ahead. The, <laughs> um, six shorts we put together onto a, a, a DVD um, with uh, uh, outtakes and um, and some behind the or some director's commentary and such other commentary. Um, we you know we finished those up and I kind of felt like okay okay now what I mean we had we'd been working on uh, another feature we started in the fall of of last year. Um, called Safe Haven, Safe Haven yeah. which we had to we had to s s put on the back burner again yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because of the the coming weather, the snow. We thought um, features are, are a big thing to tackle, which I, which is why I admire when people kind of say, "Let's do some shorts instead." So yeah. I'm, I'm kind of glad that you guys were able to like get a product to to people and say, "This is what, who we are. This yeah. is what we do." Well, yeah, I mean. When when this when this became available on DVD, I felt like you know now, the last year and a half, two years, people can see you know what we've been doing. It hasn't just been, hasn't just been you know wasting time chatting or anything. I mean we've put uh, we've put some effort into this into uh, um, you know making a name for ourselves, making a name for the local talent, uh, mm -hmm. cast and crew in the area. You know. Some people we worked with on uh, on a number of the shorts, you know, they, they they spanned different shorts, and then some people were with us for for one project, and uh, you know, it, we've seen a lot of uh, a lot of talent. Nice. So, where can people go to find out more about Living Storm Productions? Well, we have a we have a Facebook page. Mm -hmm. um, you can look up Living Storm Productions on Facebook. Uh, our webpage, LivingStormProductions.com. Mm -hmm. um, we also have uh, Twitter, you know, we're not doing, not doing as much there. Neither are we. As Facebook, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Twitter um, falls the wayside sometimes for us. Yeah. Where can people go to find a copy of uh, the short films? Um, well, they can at the at the website livingstormproductions.com. They can uh, make a purchase there. Um, otherwise, they can just send us an email, um, and if they're in the area, we can. We can get together and yeah, yeah. <laughs> show up at their door and be like, "Here you go," and yeah. then you say, "Thank you." <laughs> yeah, ten dollars. You know, ten dollars for the DVD. Um, Twenty-five dollars if you want to deliver to them in a limo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just throwing that idea out there. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's let's make sure people know that's not that's not real. Don't do that. <laughs> Seriously. Um, <laughs> but yeah, well, thanks for coming and joining us here today, Brian. This is awesome. Oh. Yeah, yeah, um, good time. Yeah, well. Glad you had a good time. Yeah. As we as we strive for. So this has been another exciting episode of Film Reel. So keep out, keep watching because things are gonna be awesome. Let's do some let's just uh, Yeah.
Usually this is where also the outtake comes from the, <laughs> for the, the credits. Standing by. Yeah. <laughs> Five, four, oh, three, Do we know what we're doing? No, that's two, the thing. <laughs> one. Uh, 